Hey, welcome to Viking Preparedness. I am Pastor Joe Fox. <clears throat> you know, there's a lot of smart people on the internet, especially with this Jade Helm thing. You know, if you, if you read uh, all these experts, <clears throat> experts on all kinds of things, you'll learn some neat stuff. You'll learn that the Founding Fathers put Posse Comitatus in Act to prevent the military from training in the United States. You'll also learn that everybody knows that you train where you fight. You train where you're going to fight. Wow. And this is the level of discourse, right? This is what people res uh, resort to when they're talking about this. <clears throat> Number one, posse comitatus has nothing to do with training in the United States or anywhere else. It was not installed by the Founding Fathers. Why don't you go do some research before you run your yap? I mean, I, my ya. Yeah. The Posse Comitatus Act was put in after the Civil War because the Yankee soldiers came down into the South and were being jerks, you know, militarized police, right? Um, but the soldiers were acting in a police function. Posse Comitatus uh, disallows the military from functioning in a police role in the United States. That's what Posse Comitatus does, and it was not put in by the founders. It was put in after the Civil War to stop the abuses that were going on. Now, I think some people should try and draw some lines between Posse Comitatus and our militarized police and, and maybe make an argument that it's the same thing. That would be a decent argument. You know, cops driving around in MRAPs with M4s and, and you know Kevlar helmets and body armor and stuff. I think you could make a good case there. But that's not what Posse Comitatus is about. So it's not, the founders didn't do it, and it doesn't prohibit training in the United States or off military bases. Number two, everybody knows that you train where you fight. No. You train as you fight. You don't train where you fight. Think about that. When, when you train, it, you know, if you go somewhere where you're going to fight to train, that's not training. That's operating, right? That's fighting. There are people out there where you're going to go operate. Um, you know, everyone knows you train where you're going to fight. Well, if you go do that, there's people out there with the means, the method, and the motivation to kill you. That's not training. That's fighting. That's operating. You train in a location, in a place that you can go, time out, when something goes wrong, or where you can say, you know, let's run that play again. This time I want you guys to hook left instead of right. That's training. It's practice. You know, football teams don't train during the game. They train before the game so that they can go play the game. Firefighters don't train in a four-alarm fire. They train back at the station or in a training facility that has a controlled environment so that they can go out and, and do what they need to do. Cops don't train in the hood. They police. Same thing with soldiers. All right. Now, people say, uh, the other argument people say is, well, they have all those bases and they can train there. Yeah, well, there's this thing called the fog of war. And the fog of war, it, Clausewitz talked about it, it's something that happens in combat, in battle, and things just get confusing and don't go like you thought they were. You know, no plan survives first contact with the enemy, right? Soldiers train all the time. When soldiers, and, and I mean, you know, soldiers, sailors, airmen, and marines, but, you know, I'm an army guy, so soldiers... Soldiers train all the time. When they're not fighting, they're training. You know those uh, facilities on the bases? They use them every day. There's very little fog of war in, in a training facility on base. You know, once you've hit this mount village, this, this fake town, uh, you know, a hundred times, you know every way in and out of that little village. You know where the this corner is really good to see down that street. I can look through this window and see that. There's, it's hard to introduce fog of war. And so, hence always the, the search for new and unique training venues. I know. This is all going to go over your head. You're going to curse me again and uh, you know because you're addicted to fear porn. That's what you are. You really are. You just want to be scared and all stirred up on the 16th of September when Jade Helm ends. You guys are going to be on to the next thing. You know, we stopped them, man. There was no martial law because we cared. Whatever. There's an asteroid coming tomorrow. Why don't you get worried about that? <laughs> I will not see some of you out there.